హలో అండ్ నమస్తే ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సునీత నరెడ్డి ఇన్ఫెక్షస్ డిజీజ్ ఫిజిషియన్ అట్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ హైదరాబాద్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ బీ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ మలేరియా మలేరియా ఇస్ అన్ అక్యూట్ ఫెబ్రాయిల్ ఇల్నెస్ కాస్డ్ బై ప్లాస్మోడియం దర్ వర్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫార్టీ మిలియన్ పీపుల్ హూ వర్ అఫెక్టెడ్ బై మలేరియా ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ అండ్ ఓవర్ సిక్స్టీ థౌసండ్ డెత్స్ కాస్డ్ బై మలేరియా సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ సీరియస్ డిసీజ్ and primarily affects the sub-Saharan Africa and the tropical countries. Malaria is caused by the parasite belonging to the genus Plasmodium. There are five different kinds of Plasmodium species that causes malaria in human beings. One is Plasmodium oval, Plasmodium malaria, and more commonly is the Plasmodium vivax and the most severe one being Plasmodium falciparum. The newest kid on the block is Plasmodium novelsi, Living in the endemic area is the risk factor for development of malaria. In Asia, the major bug is Plasmodium vivax followed by Plasmodium falciparum. Symptoms of malaria start with fever and chills which are the most common symptoms, fatigue, severe weakness and depending on the severity can cause shortness of breath, black colored urine, jaundice and altered sensorium. There are very, several different ways that you can do tests to diagnose malaria traditional test has been the malarial smears which is a thick smear and the thin smear or a buffy coat smear so newer tests have come up which are the antigen based test or the card tests also in other countries molecular diagnostic tests or the pcr based tests are also used there are different ways of prevention of malaria one is to prevent mosquito bite and two is to use medications to prevent mosquitoes use insecticide co- coated nets also you can do indoor residual spraying which means you can spray insecticides on the walls of the houses where mosquitoes tend to rest the other methods that you can use include chemo prophylaxis or medications that you can take to prevent uh, development of malaria there are different kinds of tablets that can be used uh, and depending on what tablet your doctor prescribes for you you may need to take the medications two days before the, your travel to two weeks before your travel and continue the medications for anywhere up to two weeks or four weeks after you return back to your country of uh, origin malaria if it occurs in a pregnant woman can cause problems both for the mother and child and other than that it can cause premature delivery uh, to abortions miscarriages there are several different treatment options available for malaria there are medications available that will kill the malarial parasites so if you talk about what are the medications that work against the malaria the traditional medication that was diagnosed is chloroquine chloroquine is a plant based product and that used to work very well for all kinds of malaria for a long period of time the current gold standard medication for treatment of malaria is a combination of medications primarily what is called artemisinin based therapy medication that is recommended uh, by the who is a combination of artemisinin and lomifantrin complicated or severe malaria is more common with plasmodium falciparum but can occur with other types of malaria as well what are the complications that we see typically uh, it can affect most parts of the body the complications of can affect most parts of the body it can cause fluid retention in the lungs called pulmonary edema or ARDS it can cause a uh, problem in the brain called cerebral mal- malaria where you will be obstructed and unresponsive it can cause hemoglobinuria where your blood is uh, destroyed the hemoglobin is destroyed and it is excreted in the urine and that also can cause uh, ki- uh, kidney damage or acute kidney injury now what happens is if a person a has malaria the mosquito that bites that person sucks the blood inside and along with that takes in the malarial parasite which is goes through the process of uh, going into the uh, stomach of the mosquito and the liver of the mosquito and then comes back into the saliva and when it goes and bites another person it inoculates that person so it does not go directly from person to person it goes from a person to person by the mosquito apart from malaria being transmitted from the mosquito there are certain other things that we have to be looking for if a pregnant mother has malaria the 
you can have congenital transmission, meaning the disease can affect the baby as well. So that's another route of transmission. Apart from that, malaria can be transmitted through blood products. So if a person who has the malarial parasite in within them donates the blood, then the uh, parasite w will be transmitted f uh, when uh, the blood is being given to another person. Malaria can be transmitted through organ transplant, though not a very common phenomenon. It can be transmitted through infected organs. So there are several different medications that work for malaria. What is gold standard treatment today for Plasmodium falciparum and can also be used for YWAX is artemisin based combination therapy and uh, that is called ACT, artemisin based combination therapy. Uh, typically what is recommended is, recommended is artemisin plus lumifantrin uh, combination. Uh, in the IV formulation there are other form, uh, options as available as well. Now what has to be remembered is that these treatment options will work for acute malaria in the case of YWAX and OVAL. But the malaria can hide in the liver what is called the hypnozoid phase or gametocytic phase. And that is not affected by the artemisin based combination therapy. And this has to be followed by primaquin for a period of another 14 days at least or 10 to 14 days. And, uh, uh, that has to be uh, given primarily because that will prevent relapse of malaria. In the case of Plasmodium falciparum also, a single dose of primaquine is essential to prevent transmission of disease. So it is important to pre uh, note that you treat not just the acute phase, but you also have to follow through with treatment to prevent relapse or transmission of the disease. A malaria vaccine is used to prevent malaria. There is one recently approved vaccine available for malaria, which is available by the brand name Muscurix. It was approved in October 2021 by WHO to be given to all children in areas that are highly endemic for malaria, to prevent childhood malaria. Today we talked about malaria. We talked about what causes malaria, how to prevent malaria, what are the symptoms and how to treat malaria. Stay healthy. Stay safe, stay informed. Consult your doctor for appropriate medical advice. Thank you.